Okay, hello. So you want to make a thumbnail on Paint 3D. Whoopsies. So uh, this video is going to be how you can do that in the easiest, most efficient way. Paint 3D is a free program you get on uh, Microsoft Windows 10. And uh, it's not the best program out there, but if you don't want to put out money and you want a free program, it's a good program. What I'm going to go over, oh, fuck, I keep hitting my mic. If, if I keep going over, uh, if I go over the stuff that is bad about this and stuff that is good, it's going to give you a good idea of how you can kind of use this program to your advantage. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new project and we got to make sure that we've got some music playing because we want to get into the flow. So uh, I'm going to go with Chilled Cow on YouTube because it's one of my favorite lo-fis. It's one of the OGs and uh, link in the description. So please don't copyright this video. So music's here. Two things I have ready. One is a background and I chose 1920 by 1080 because that's the good size for a thumbnail and there's loads of stuff that pops up. Now you have to just make sure that when you take a picture that it's not something that's going to get copyright and you might get in trouble. So just be aware of that. And the next thing I'm going to do is any picture I want to add onto my title. Uh, I'm going to just type into Google. So I'm making a Paint 3D video. So I'm going to do Paint 3D logo because I want to add that in the video. And if you look on the uh, left hand side here, it says transparent. I'm going to click that and that's going to filter out transparent backgrounds. So let's just say this one and you can even see here that it has the transparent uh, background. So that's perfect. I'm going to save image to my desktop paint logo. That's a perfect name and save. So I've got that for later. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to make a transparent thing in uh, Paint 3D. So stay tuned for that. Let's put this tab to the side and now we're in Paint 3D. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in all the pictures that I want to be able to manipulate first and then I'm going to bring in the background. Even though that seems backwards, to me this is my workflow and this is the proper way to do it. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to take my chibi and I think I want to use, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, geez, this shouldn't be so hard to choose. You know what, let's go with this one. So take him, drop him there. I can put this to the side. Now what's cool about Paint 3D is you go like this and I don't want my guy to be too skinny, too fat. If you hold down shift, it scales it. So even if you accidentally make him skinny or fat and you press shift, and you start moving your hand, he is going to be the proper size. So I can put that there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I want it to be so it's just him. So there's no white background. So I'm going to do magic select. And you can see now he's boxed in. I'm going to do next. And I just want you to take note that if you look here, the pokeball isn't selected, the grass isn't selected. I'm gonna sneeze, give me a sec. <coughs> Pardon me. So, so, what I'm going to do is I click the add button and I'm just going to draw a squiggly line here. It adds that. I'm going to go here, it adds that. A little bit on the shoe. Let's get this leaf. Now, if this was a real picture, it wouldn't work as good. You'd have to be a little bit more careful. So, I'm just going to do a visual inspection, make sure that everything I wanted is selected and it looks good. Yep, so now we're going to do done. And if ever there was something like, let's just say that a part of the background here was selected, you would do remove and you would strike it off. So we go like that. Okay, and now what happens, which is really cool is, oh, you see the Pokeball uh, part didn't get selected. So you know what? This is a perfect example. Let's go back and let's start over. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this properly. So on the Overwatch Charlie channel, we don't cut corners. Actually, we cut corners all the time. <laughs> what am I saying? So we're going to do next. And I'm just going to make sure that when I select this, I select here, make sure we get some of that. Uh, yeah, and there, I don't know if you noticed, but there was the little ball here wasn't selected. So I selected now, we get the leaf again, selected all that. Uh, the mouth here isn't selected, so we got that. Uh, let's just do a double check because I was going a little bit fast. Yeah, that seems good. So just make sure this stuff, yeah, we're good. So click done. 
And now let's see, now perfect. So now I can click here and I can, oh, I don't know why that's still there. Oh, there we go. Now we can delete that. So now I've got this image that I can manipulate, uh, which is cool. You know, I can go like this and stay scaled, which is a nice little addition. Let's bring in our next image, which is the Paint 3D, which I put on the desktop. So, oh, and I just noticed my mic is a little bit high. So let's go here. We're gonna take the Paint 3D, make this small, drag it in. Make this big, let's zoom in. Uh, we're going to scale this once again, press shift. Let's bring it around like that, make it a little bit smaller. Once again, magic select, it pretty much selected it. Yeah, perfectly. Click here and yeah, that's, I mean, I don't even, this is such a simple image, I don't have to do anything. Click done, zoom out, and now I have this nice image I can manipulate. If you see residue like this, don't worry about it. All you have to do is just select like that and delete and it gets rid of it. So super simple. So these are the two images I wanted for my, uh, for, for this uh, thumbnail we're making. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to my canvas and we're going to not, we're gonna uncheck lock aspect ratio and I'm gonna plug in 1920 by 10, whoops, by 1080. Oh, whoops, I put 1280. I wanted 1080, there we go. So, and now we're gonna click lock aspect uh, ratio. Resize image canvas, we're not gonna check that because if I brought an image that wasn't 19, uh, 1920 by 1080, it would resize the canvas. Now, technically this picture that I haven't chose yet, uh, it should be that size, so we should be okay. And if you go on Google and you look up background 1920 by 1080, there's a bunch of free backgrounds you can use. Like I said, just make sure it's uh, that you have the rights to use it. And I think I'm going to just choose the first one that pops up, like something kind of, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. That's kind of retro or, uh, I mean, it, I, I don't know. I guess it really depends what you're making your video about. Mine's kind of like a tech thing. So I guess this is kind of wallpapers done. Let's go like that, I like this one. So we're gonna go like this, we're gonna do save image as onto the desktop. That's perfect, save. And we can put this away, we can make this small. Let's find that image right here and drag it here. Make it big and yeah, that looks good. Now let's just make sure that my canvas is, yeah, 1920 by 1080, perfect. So now if I bring this here, I can go like that and I can still manipulate. Oops, I can still manipulate it, which is nice. Sometimes when you bring an image and if, let's say you don't do that, which I'll show you an example. So let's say I was to bring this here and I drop it. Whoops, okay, and I just leave it like that. Let's say now I decided I want to click this and move it. I don't have that option. So I would like go like this and, oh no, it's like a piece of cake which is not what we want. That's why it's really important to do the magic select. So I'm gonna do a uh, control Z, Z, Z like that, back to our original state. So this guy is way too big. So let's scale him down a little bit. This guy is way too big. And you see when I put this, these guys here, they kinda, they're really hard to tell. Like if this was a thumbnail, you wouldn't really know what's going on. So I'm gonna show you a tip that, or a trick I should say that I like to do. It's super, super simple. I'm going to take this, control C for copy, and then control V for paste. And let's zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to slightly make him larger. And by moving him like that, now what you see happens is I have an image, two images on top of each other, and one's a little bit bigger. So let's move this guy here. I'll we'll move this guy, the smaller one here. What I'm gonna do with this, uh, this image here is I'm going to paint over him. So I'm going to go into my brushes. I'm going to choose the paint brush, uh, the paint bucket, pardon me. And this is an extremely colorful thing. I think I want my guy to pop out. We're gonna make it super simple and we're just going to go with white. So choose the white. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select 
all the spots that I want it to be white. So we're going to go like this, 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 this. I'm just going to do the outline too. I'm not going to do the inside because either way, that's going to be kind of covered um, by the image we, we do. So, oh, whoops. Control Z. Uh, that I'll keep that way because it's a Pokeball and it would be kind of weird if it was a different color. So I'm really kind of just doing the outline like this. And I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible because I really don't want to have to edit this. I want to upload it as one video. So I'm trying to go fast. That's why if it sounds like I'm talking a little bit rushed, it's for you guys and for me so I don't have to do a bunch of editing because I have work soon that I have to go to. So this is about it. Uh, this stuff you're not really going to see. That stuff, I guess, the glasses we could do. And yeah, it looks about right. Uh, the shoes, I guess we could also, you know, let's try not to cut too many corners. And... Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, now I'm just being silly. Okay, so select, and this is the effect it gives you when you put this over. So it's not super crazy, but it does make it pop a little bit. I think what I want to do though is make this even just a tad bit bigger. And maybe bring it like that. Maybe just scale it down just a bit. Choose this guy. Move him over. And then we select both of them. And now when we move this, it does both. So I find that's actually quite nice. It uh that looks okay. Um, Maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just get the feet to be a little bit scaling it just a little bit like that. Yeah, that's about good. I I kind of like it how it seems a little bit like here it seems aligned and then here it pops out because I'm gonna be putting it in this corner here. So let's select both of them. There we go. And this should. Not selecting both, but Ooh, that's odd. so I'm gonna do shift and then shift here, and that should there we go. Selects both of them. Uh, let's put this guy in the corner around here. So I'm lining him up with this side, with this side. So when I scale, he always stays stays aligned with this line here and here. He's not gonna pop out the side of the image here. So like that and if you need to do micro adjustments you can use the keys on your keyboard to really kind of zone in but I'm actually gonna just to make him pop a little bit let's make him uh, gonna off center him just a little bit like that to create a little bit of negative space there perfect and now I can scale him the way I need to so I like that. I'm going to take this guy and him. We don't have to do any editing. We're going to put him, I guess, uh, we could maybe do like an opposite. Actually, it'd be pretty funny if I made him the sun. And now once again, we're going to, uh, that, that might get in the way of the text. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna put him in the corner here and make him a little bit smaller create some negative space on the two sides. Looks good enough. Now, the last little, there's two more steps to this. Uh, we're going to take the text. Now, make sure that you don't take, you have two options. You have 2D or you have 3D, as you can see in the top right corner here. Uh, here's why you shouldn't take the 2D text. Let's say I was to write something, we're just gonna say anything, Polly is my name. Uh, let's make this big so you guys can see. I will make it a nice, a nice, uh, a nice easy color. Let's make this white and it's bold. Okay, so this is really easy to, to, to read. I go like this and I'm like, oh, you know what? That's hard to read. So let's, let's, let's move it. So, oh, wait a second. I, I can't. So it's like, okay, no problem. Let's select all and move. Bam, you just took a piece out of the cake. That is not what we want here. So what we want to do is we want to select 3D text. So by selecting 3D text, I can write the first thing, which will be, we're going to say uh, paint 3D. So paint uh, 3D, 3D, 
uh, easy thumb, uh, thumbnail. And we're going to select all. We're going to make this bold. We're going to use, uh, I like to use, oops, I like to use, oh, I messed up. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to select our, our thing first. So this is the typeface I use for all my videos. I just find it looks really nice. We're going to make it the biggest size, 3D text, and we start over. So uh, paint. 3D easy thumb, thumbnail. Select all, make sure it's bold. Put it in the middle there. And we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. And just looking at that, that looks pretty nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Pardon me. I think that's good. Uh, let's just make sure the color I don't, I'm not sure about that color. We can change the color afterwards, so it's not that big of a deal if this isn't the color that we want to use. But let's just for the sake of this video go over some different colors just to see uh, what it looks like. So we're going to click here. And here's the important part I was talking about before. Let's say I'm like, oof, that looks bad. I want it to be centered. Just click on it and you can drag it. You can even drag it to make it bigger or smaller, which is super, super useful. If you right click on it, you can, uh, whoops, there we go. You can go here on the right hand side and you can edit color. So let's say I'm like, oh, I think red might look better. No, red looks super bad. Edit color, let's try aqua. It's like, oh, that kind of does look good, you know? Uh, yeah, that, that could be the one. It kind of blends in with the, the color uh, seam scheme, but it's still just a little bit too small. So I'm going to do copy. I'm going to do paste. I'm going to make this one, whoops, I'm going to make this one maybe bigger. And I'm going to edit the color. I'm going to make it white. And you see this button here, the Z axis? This controls where you want it to be. So if I want it to be in the front of the picture, I put it here. If I want it to be in the back of the picture, I put it here. So right now you see now it's behind here. And that looks okay. Let's click on this one and let's make this one a little bit bigger just so it's almost the same size. Like that and maybe move it over. We're gonna put it just a little bit off center like that, but that actually makes it harder to read. So let's maybe go like this, just like that. Like it's really, you don't want to do a lot. And then we're going to go like this. And now we can scale the two of them together, which is super, super useful. Uh, I want that to be nice and big. I want my viewers to be able to read it. Now you see when I put it here, it's behind. So once again, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna move it to the front like that. And we're gonna put it around here. Kind of if you look on the picture, there's naturally two lines, which is why I kind of like this picture that makes it easy to read. And that looks good. So only issue now is that this guy is really hard to see. Let's bring him to the front and you know, in the end we'll put him down here and we'll scale him up. So paint 3D easy thumbnail. That looks pretty okay. Uh, actually, it's still a little bit hard to read. So let's, let's push it up like that. And we're gonna push it down once. So, you know, I'm trying to do this fast. So I'm kind of just going through it. Yeah, I like that. And we're also, there's another thing we're gonna do to make this pop a little bit more. So once again, we're going to go into here, paint, uh, sorry, text 3D. We're gonna say uh, four. We're gonna change this to the color to aqua again. So you have to select it and then do aqua. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna copy, we're going to paste. Make this one just a little bit bigger and we're gonna change that color to white and we're just going to make sure that this guy is behind this guy and 
Oops, I, I confused my two colors. So we want aqua in the front. And for this guy in the back, we want him to be white, like that. And this is super, super hard to read. So let's, let's recenter this. Looks about good. You see on this one, everything is a little bit that way. So let's just... you know what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this roughly the same size and just like that. That gives it a little bit of pop. And once again, we can select both of them and we can choose where we want to put this. So we want this to be nice and big. Put it kind of here so it doesn't, it's not too hard to read with the, uh, the moon. Or the sun and then we're gonna put YouTube down here now <clears throat> I could just put it like I did here but I think a good little trick to do is we're gonna take the YouTube logo we're gonna go like this we're gonna look for a transparent background so we're gonna do uh, transparent like this so I kind of wanted the uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, circle icon. I kind of wanted the one where it's like a like a circle. Uh, let's just do YouTube transparent. Let's see what pops up. Uh, yeah, I guess this works right here with the little the play button. So we click on it. We're gonna go here. Save image. We're just gonna do to my desktop. Normally, I, I put everything nice and uh, clean. <clears throat> but this is going to work for the second video. Let's put this small. Let's find that picture. Here it is. Drag it here. Oh, that is not what I was hoping for. So we're going to bring this guy here. And you see, a good practice is to get all your stuff beforehand. So that's okay. I'm going to put this here. Do magic select. It knows that this is what I'm trying to get. I'm going to do next. And here's a good example. So all it took was the YouTube logo, which is not what I want. I also want the play button. So let's select that. And I also want, I want YouTube. Okay, so. so let's go like this. Let's go like this. Normally it's not this hard to do. Let's go like that. All right, yeah, okay, so this works. Normally it's easier to do. I don't know why this image, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Uh, oh, we wanted the play button, there we go. So I have everything I want selected. We got the red, we got the play button, we got the YouTube, and we're going to do done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put up here, but we have to get rid of this. So I'm going to copy this, and now I'm just going to do delete like that. And if I do paste, I've got my YouTube without having to get rid of this thing. Because as you remember before, if I tried to select that and get rid of it, it would be like a piece of cake. It would take everything away. So we're going to drag this down here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And honestly speaking, uh, maybe it's, it's in the background a little bit. Let's bring this forward. Yeah, I just find, I'm not sure why, but the color is really bad. So let's just fix that up. Let's go into brushes. We're going to take the paint zoom in on this let's make sure we have blacks black selected and we're going to just make this pop a little bit better there we go and while we're at it let's add some red to this no that looks bad let's go like this and this looks yeah that looks better i'm happy with that and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger you know what i think we'll do is just a little bit bigger like that. Now, the problem with this title is that it's kind of hard to see the background here. So we're going to click. Oops, I have to select both of them. We're going to click here, make this just a little bit bigger, bring that up kind of there so it's still easy to read. Bring this guy up here, make him a little bit bigger, put him there. And I don't want my chibi guy 
be in the background, so let's bring him forward a little bit. It's a little bit messy, but it works. Let's make this just a tad bit smaller. Kind of like logo here, logo there. And honestly speaking, I feel like this should be, I feel like this should be bigger. So we're going to zoom in, click here, click shift, and then click on the other one. So now we have both of them selected. Let's bring this right into the corner here and let's scale this in so it's even bigger. And it's a little bit too big. Let's make sure we're respecting those two lines that I mentioned before. I'd say that looks good. We're gonna bring this guy a bit forward so that he's in the front of the image because the title is kind of the most important thing. Oh, is he still behind? I can't even tell here. Yeah, he was behind. Okay, there we go. So that looks good. Um, I think I do want this maybe to be a little, oops. Let's go with this, get both of them. So here's the problem. This guy is too big. So we're gonna select him. We're gonna click shift, select here so it gets both of them. Let's make him smaller and let's get the YouTube sign to be a little bit more centered. And that way we're still, we're not really in the black here, so it's not super hard to read. This guy we can bring up here. Maybe make him a little bit bigger. And let's just make sure this guy's in the forefront. No, that looks bad. We'll put him in the background like this. So that's it. And uh, the last little thing is the YouTube sign is still kind of hard to read. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into our brush. We're going to take our spray can. We're gonna take the water color white. We're gonna put this around roughly 5%. We're gonna get the thickness so it's quite a bit bigger. We want it about the size of the text that we have and a little bit bigger actually than the text. Now, if I start uh, just for the sake of this, for this example, we'll put this 100%. If I go here, it's very, very strong. We don't want that. If I go on top of here, it draws over the letters. We don't want that either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. So not on the letter, but just behind it. And that way when we spray paint, the letters, they come forward. But that is way too bright. So we're gonna put this to 10%. So it's, it's gonna be very, very, very small. And we're just gonna start here and just very vaguely give it a little spray paint like that. But that's actually too much. So we're gonna undo that. We're gonna put this at 5% over here. Enter, let's see how this looks. So starting here, just very vaguely. It's barely anything, but it really does make the stuff kind of pop like that. What I like to do is kind of just outline what the words are. So like easy, A, S, Y, just a little bit. It just really gives it a little bit of a pop. T, thumb, U, M, B, N, L, A, L, I. A little bit on the top there. And bam, that gives it just a little bit of pop. We do the same thing on the YouTube logo. Just like that. Same thing on the Y, the O, the U, T, U, B, E. We'll even do it on this logo here. So basically the stuff that I, I wanna pop, I'm just doing that. This and like that. There we go. So that really does give it quite a nice little, little pop to the image without being too intense in your eyes. I actually do find this one a little bit intense. So I'm gonna go back with this. I'm gonna put this at like 1%, scale this bigger, and just kind of, okay, 1% no, is not enough, 3%. We're just gonna kind of paint over this, give it a little bit of a blue shine. And a little bit of red, just to kind of differentiate. Yeah, that, that looks better. There we go. And you know, we'll do that for everything to stay consistent. And 
All right, and there you have it, actually. Kind of do that on everything. There we go. That's a nice little shine. And there we have it. So all we have to do now is we go, oops, we go into menu, we do save as image. Now, if you want to make something like, let's say there was no background and you want the same background to put over everything, you basically can, uh, you would choose to make this transparent and it would, anything that's white or that the canvas is would not show up. So that's a little tip right there. We're going to save this. We're going to save it onto the desktop. And we're going to do uh, paint 3D thumbnail. We're going to save, make this small. And now if you look here, we've got our paint 3D. Double click on it. And there we've got our paint 3D. So it's pretty good quality. And if you were going to upload this to uh, YouTube, you would just upload this and I'll just show you the uh, YouTube thumbnail uh, dimensions is uh, 720, 1280, 1280 by 720. But I mean, the, the one I have works too. If not, you could always just scale it down. And there you have it, folks. So hope you enjoyed this first, uh, I guess, real video of 2021. And uh, yeah, so if you want to make a thumbnail, now you know how. And uh, if you like this video, and if you make a thumbnail, uh, always feel free to write a comment. And uh, if you want, you can even tag me in the thumbnail you create. I would be very curious to see what some of the of you guys come up with. I'd love to see some of your creativity. So if this is something you found useful, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or review. Have a good one. Happy New Year's. Bye-bye.